Hey guys, Dr. Kyle Loveless here. In this video today, I wanna to talk to you about what you need to do specifically to heal your psoriasis. And I know that sounds like a, how do I know I don't know you um, comment, and you're right. I don't know you and I don't know how to do it specifically for you, but I do know what you need to do in the interim before you get to an individualized program. And most people haven't done that step yet. And for some people, that's all they need to do. Okay, and we're gonna be sharing our course really soon on what you need to be, what this process looks like so you can have it at home and actually work with it. Uh, but in this video, I'm gonna share some of that with you. And so number one thing you gotta do in terms of getting rid of psoriasis is you gotta be able to shift your diet. And I wanna talk about that. When we shift our diet, a lot of people would say, I tried getting rid of gluten, I tried getting rid of dairy, I tried getting rid of soy and corn and all these grains, but I still have psoriasis. And so we think that didn't work for me. Those things I just said absolutely are what you, you wanna to do to get rid of psoriasis, but they're not the only thing and everybody's different. Some people can just do that and it'll start to disappear. I just got done working with a patient who did the same thing. She had already done all those things. She was following a psoriasis diet and she had two options. She could have said, oh, that just stuff doesn't work and gone back to her medical doctor and gotten more cortisone and other creams or she could have said, what else is there? And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about. It's you gotta have that idea of what else is there? It doesn't mean that those things didn't work. Those are very important for your health. So if we could, if I can shift your thinking into thinking, it's not about what I uh, need to do to get rid of psoriasis, it's what I need to do to get my body in balance and heal and psoriasis will disappear. For me, I had psoriasis for over 30 years. When it finally went away, I wasn't even thinking about psoriasis. All I was thinking about what's the next thing I need to do to be healthier because I knew I still had some things missing even though I had done so much at that point. And so, the thought process in your mind is what's the next step, not what did what do I need to, not that this step didn't work, okay? So if we know gluten causes uh, leaky gut issues because it releases zonulin, causes the gut lining to gap, well then we know that that's unhealthy, that's gonna create inflammation, and that's gonna add addition to an autoimmune issue. And so taking gluten out is an absolute, right? The next thing you gotta do is, is we got gluten, we got soy, we got corn, we got dairy. Those are things that we know cause inflammation. Everybody, I know everybody loves soy. I've gotten so many comments on why we should eat soy and that it's it's not really xenoestrogens that are causing, uh, the phytoestrogens that are causing issues in our body. Yes, I get it. There are tons of benefits for soy, but unfortunately in America, getting high quality soy is close to impossible. So I would just say take it out because there's so many other foods you can do instead. Okay, and then the next step, you've done those things, it's reducing sugar, all right? So giving, it's all about getting stress off the GI tract, track, so we reduce sugar. Now we start to look at the meats and say, okay, do we need to get rid of meats completely? A lot of people would say you would, should. Some of the you know, big psoriasis guys out there would say get rid of meat completely. I've been working with patients for about 13 years and I've never told anybody to get rid of meat and I've helped a lot of people get rid of psoriasis myself personally. You don't have to get rid of meat, you have to eat quality meat, okay? So it needs to be grass-fed, free-range, organic. Raise the an way an animal was supposed to be raised. I like to go with local meats close to home where I know the farmer and I know the farm, and then vegetables that are um, organic, close to home, local, and in season, and then things that are gonna be easier to break down. So I'm not gonna eat eggplant and tomatoes and things that are high lectin count, I'm gonna eat cruciferous vegetables like broccoli. I'm gonna eat um, things like bok choy, things like spinach, these leafy green vegetables. And if you want, I can share this with you. Look, I got this program here. I'm not selling you a program, don't worry. I didn't, that kind of was salesy feeling. So I'm not selling you a program. I actually have an eating plan that, I've, that I recommend for arthritis patients called your healing gut eating plan. If you want this, comment below. We'll get it to you at no cost, okay? And this is a, a, a mixture between the FODMAP, di FODMAP diet and the Plant Paradox diet simply as that, okay? But it gets rid of foods that are hard to digest. So we start out, we remove those first things I talked about. We add in properly raised meats. We add in your cruciferous big bang for your buck vegetables, the high nutrient filled vegetables. And that's it guys. I mean, that's the core to what you need to start with. And then you start acting, looking at supplements. So supplement wise, vitamin D3. We know that people that have psoriasis have, are, are many times deficient in vitamin D3. So if you haven't had it checked and you don't wanna get it checked, go with 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3. That's a recommended amount, 10,000 IUs. And um, I recommend getting it checked, it's only about 50 bucks. But go get your vitamin D3 levels checked. They need to be between 50 and 100. And 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3 will typically get you there. If you're too high, then just bring it down, okay? B vitamins are gonna be very essential as well. So a multi B vitamin is a great idea and I would hyperdose on vitamin B1. You can go back to the video I did on vitamin B1 
and you'll see what I'm talking about because it's actually been shown uh, very beneficial for energy in the mitochondria in our body. Okay, so the next one is omega-3 fatty acids. Getting your uh, your cells are surrounded by fatty acids, so those omega-3 fatty acids, actually EPA, DHA fatty acids, are actually very effective for decreasing inflammation in the body and making sure that your body has what it needs in terms of the proper types of fats for cellular function. Okay, so what do we got here? We got D3, we got B vitamins, we got B1, we got uh, omega-3s. That's a great starting point. If you want to add one thing to it, I would add an herb that helps calm what we call the T cell response response, which is this overactive immune response that comes with autoimmune issues, and that is Romania. I like Romania a lot in that it's very effective in that, but it's also an adaptogen, which helps your adrenals handle stress. Okay, it's an adaptogenic herb. And so those are the supplements I recommend up front. These are simple. Everybody can do this, right? And then you start doing things, add stuff in like grounding, walk around with barefooted, add stuff in like infrared saunas, add stuff in like going to chiropractor and getting chiropractic care. Right? That help is amazing for your immune response. They've shown chiropractic, people under long-term chiropractic care have a 200% stronger immune system. So it's beneficial. So add chiropractic and try acupuncture. Exercising, not, high, not, not crazy uh, long-term exercise, but short, high intensity for short periods of time, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes a day. You don't want anything that's in, gonna increase cortisol and add more stress, which you already have with an autoimmune response. And then making sure you're getting enough sleep at night, eight, seven to eight hours of sleep every single night. If you're having trouble sleeping, then we gotta take other reasons of why that might be happening. So I just had a bunch of stuff at you right there. But go back and watch this video again and again. And if you just add those things in, some of you are gonna get rid of psoriasis just by doing that. The next step is going more in depth, going individualized. Personally, I've worked with a lot, I've been working with a lot of patients with psoriasis. I'm happy to work with you. But I will tell you my time is limited, and so you can try to get with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have limited time for that right now. But more importantly, what we're, we're, we're introducing is a course that you can actually just purchase the course for a small, a small amount of money, really, compared to working with someone individually. So instead of working with a functional medicine doctor and spending thousands of dollars month after month having to meet with them, all these different supplements, go get the course. The final thing that I missed there, guys, is a food allergy test. Get the foods that you need to get rid of out of your diet, an IgG food allergy test, get those foods out of your diet. If you put those things together, some of you are getting a psoriasis and you're not gonna need any functional medicine doctor out there. And if you do the course, you're gonna become your own health expert and you're gonna not need any of us anymore and you're gonna be the one shooting videos, which would be awesome. So, hey guys, thanks for watching this. I hope you got a lot out of it. And Please comment anything you want to hear, hear us talk about or, sh or things that you might be dealing with, even things outside of psoriasis. It could be constipation. It could be um, neck pain, back pain, whatever it is. We want to make sure that you become your own health expert and you actually understand what health actually is.